Maka, Cat's Claw, Yakong, Tara. These are some of the Andean and Amazonian ancestral natural products rich in proteins, calcium, and several other nutrients and vitamins. They're also believed to have natural curing antioxidant and aphrodisiac properties. However, their consumption in Peru is under threat due to biopiracy, as foreign companies have filed over 100,000 patents for these products. We campesinos are very conscious of it. These seeds are part of our lives, and if there's a new owner by patenting them with an economic interest, it is a very worrying situation. Buying seeds would impoverish campesinos more because now campesinos have their seeds. Everyone saves their own seeds and plants them the next year. The lack of protection for the ancestral seeds that could affect farmers and local consumers is partly the fault of free trade agreements, the sign in the interest of large businesses at the expense of small farmers and consumers in general, according to Alan Furley, a Peruvian representative in the Andean Parliament. If we facilitate patents of plants with accords from 1991 and other conventions and free trade agreements that we've signed, but on the other hand, there is nothing that develops these elements we have mentioned we make ourselves vulnerable. According to the National Commission Against Biopiracy, Peru has 4,400 species of indigenous vegetables, and 1,200 of those natural resources have medicinal uses, but only 35 are monitored by authorities to prevent piracy. Rael Mora, Telesur, Peru. Yeah.